Greetings, travelers, and welcome to the game with the least visible food, but the most talked about food. Which is why today we are going to be creating an amazing sounding talked about food from the wisest of all, Professor Hotchkiss. Now, Professor Hotchkiss had a number of delicious sounding meals and foods to suggest, but for the sake of today, we decided to pick one specific one. Today, we will be making the asparagus and mushroom baguette. It's mushroom and asparagus. Whatever. <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? First off, I have the oven heating. It doesn't have to be a specific temperature. I have it around 375, and we're just gonna use it to toast our baguette. Next, we are going to start heating our pan over medium heat because we are going to saute our mushroom and asparagus mixture. We're gonna take a tablespoon and a half of butter, put that in our pan. Then we're gonna take eight ounces of sliced mushrooms and about 10 to 12 stalks of fresh asparagus. We've already cut off the ends. We're also going to take one shallot and chop that up small, add that to the pan. We're also going to add one clove of garlic, minced or crushed. We're going to add some thyme, either half a teaspoon of fresh or about a quarter teaspoon of dry. And now we're just going to saute that until the mushrooms and the asparagus is nicely cooked. Now let's get our baguette prepped. We are going to slice that in half and lay it in a baking sheet. I did not have an entire baguette today, the store was out, so we are using several, so about two to three of those should equal about one baguette since these are on the small side. Then we are going to take some cheese. For this, we are using either provolone or Swiss or some other similar like cheese. We're gonna place that on our bread before we put it in the oven. We're using thin slices today, so probably about two thin slices per of these sub rolls or about four to five slices for a whole baguette. We're gonna pop that in the oven until the bread gets toasty and the cheese gets melted. Our asparagus and mushrooms look good, so we're going to take that off the heat. And now we are going to get ready for finishing our baguette. For that, we are going to make a garlic and herb mayo to spread on there. So let's get started, shall we? We're going to take a quarter cup of mayo and put that on a small bowl. Then we're going to add another clove of garlic, either minced or crushed. We're also going to add another either half teaspoon of fresh or quarter teaspoon of dried thyme. I will note if you're using dried herbs in this mayo, go ahead and make this about 30 minutes in advance so that your herbs can have time to sit and let their flavors come out into the mayo itself. And then we're going to add a half teaspoon of fresh or a quarter teaspoon of dried rosemary as well. And we're going to chop this up just a little bit. It smells like herbs in here. It's delightful. It smells like herbs and cheese. And then we're going to add one teaspoon of white wine vinegar. This is kind of optional, but we're just going to do it. Just gonna, we're just gonna do it because it's it a little extra like a good idea. Zing. And let's check and see if our bread and cheese looks good. It's all melty, that looks great. So we're gonna set this aside. So now we're gonna take some of our mayo. We're probably not gonna use all of this since we're just doing two small ones right now. And we're gonna spread that on each piece of bread. And 
and then we're going to add a nice generous portion of both mushrooms and asparagus. It smells really good. If you like mushrooms, I feel like you're going to like this recipe. If you don't like mushrooms, you might still like this recipe. We're going to find out. How we give it a test? I feel like this is going to be hard to hold together one-handed for the camera, but we're going to try. As you can see, it's falling apart. First thing, like, first thing I taste is asparagus. Then I notice the herbs. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have fresh herbs, by all means, use them. Asparagus is not staying in one-handed. Definitely don't try to eat this with one hand so that you can look at the camera, because... If your bread comes open, the asparagus is running away. Mushrooms are mm. really good. I will go ahead and make a side note, and that is the kind of mushrooms you use in this is totally up to you. You don't have to use this kind. You can use a blend of different kinds or whatever your favorite type is. Mayo and cheese together. Very good. Mm -hmm. The flavors so, all combined really well. Definitely don't skimp out on the mayo. This is not working well eating for the camera. But it's good, so mm -hmm. I'm willing to try. I think if I was Professor Hotchkiss, working from wherever and bossing people around to go and pick me up food and bring it on, I would definitely order this. Yeah. I also think you could definitely up the amount of white wine vinegar in here because I'm not really tasting that much by the time you get to it. But that's optional. Could also up the garlic. Just, I mean, I can taste garlic, mm -hmm. but I love garlic. But this is very messy to try to eat this way, and I'm losing half of my filling, so I'm gonna finish that once we're done filming. So, thoughts? Think it's a keeper? Yes. I next, would eat it again. Good. So next time you have asparagus and mushrooms in the fridge at the same time, you're gonna make this, right? If I had a baguette. Not a normal Yes. Thing, you definitely I have to have a room. nice, crusty sort of bread to do this on. But yes, if I had all the ingredients, I would definitely make this good. Good. I think that was a success then. Anyway, that is it for today. Um, I know we're not chit-chatting about it as much as usual, but that's because I really want to go and eat it. And I can't really do that while we're filming. It's just not working. So we'll chit-chat more later on the next video, which hopefully you will enjoy. And we will see you then. Bye.